Hello friends, I had made this video to help you out to make investigatory project on chemistry. So I had chosen topic rate of fermentation. In the front page, I had written my school's name, a logo and uh, submitted to my chemistry teacher and submitted by this is my name in a glossy paper. Second page is of topic. Here I had written the topic. My topic is to compare rate of fermentation of given sample of wheat flour, gram flour, rice flour and potato using yeast. This is my own tip to you that choose a topic which can be easily demonstrated in your chemistry lab. Here also I written my chemistry teacher's name and my name. Next page is of index. Main objectives are aim, certificate, acknowledgement, declaration, objective, introduction, material required, procedure, observation, bibliography. Next page is of certificate to certify me that I had made this project by taking help of some people for the practical examination of class 12th. Here I had taken sign of my chemistry teacher and written her name and this is submitted by me that she had certified me that. Acknowledgement is a thanksgiving page in which I had um, expressed my deep gratitude and sincere thanks to the people who had helped me to make this project. So here I had written all those words and name of those people and lastly I had written my name here. Declaration. This is the declaration that my chemistry teacher, she is the internal examiner, had certified me that I had made this project under her guidance and supervision. Next page is of objective. This page includes why I had chosen this topic, the purpose of doing this and, exam, uh, and the experiment why I had chosen this and uh, the objective of the experiment. <laughs> In the next pages of introduction, here I had given a brief introduction of fermentation, its use in our daily life, its pros and cons. Next page includes the history of fermentation, when fermentation added in our lifestyle and more about that. Then contribution of fermentation to biochemistry. The next page includes the uses of fermentation technique. You can get all this introduction through internet in Wikipedia. And next page I had written risk of consuming fermented food. Here basically I had written about botulism and another main topic safety to fermented food. Actually, we need to add both pros and cons, both positive and negative points of fermentation. The next topic, from here my experiment starts. This is the theory. In theory, I had added the composition of, of wheat flour, gram flour, rice flour and potato. Basically, their major constituent is starch. The next page in the theory I had included the enzyme used in this experiment. Basically, enzyme used is enzyme diastase. Here, how can we, how can we extract di enzyme enzyme diastase? I had written here that it is extracted from germinating barley, and this is also called malt extract. And then material required. I had written all those material used in our experiment. Here all those. In the procedure, we had taken equal amount of flour in a flask. Then we added distilled water, boiled the flask and obtained the flour extract. Actually, I had uh, taken mashed potato. So, so you can also take mashed potato or um, pieced potato, chopped potato. You can use that. And then 5 ml of 1% aqueous NaCl, I had added in all those 4 conical flasks. And um, then I had added the enzyme diastase. After few minutes, I had added iodine solution. Actually, we are testing that the time after which the iodine solutions color the blue violet color disappears when the starch is fully fermented its color disappears when it is partially fermented it is blue and violet in color 
सो ये हेयर आई हैड रिटर्न ऑल दो स्टेप्स एंड द नेक्स्ट पेज इज ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन दैट वॉट आई हैड ऑब्जर्व सो इट ऑब्जर्व दैट वीट फ्लैट टेक टेन आवर्स टू फर्मेंट ग्राम फ्लैट ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव आवर्स टू फर्मेंट राइस फ्लैट टू फिफ्टीन आवर्स टू फर्मेंट एंड पोटेटो थर्टीन आवर्स सो हेयर आई हैड पेस्टेड फोटोज ऑफ दोज फर्मेंटेड फूड दिस फर्मेंटेड वीट फ्ला फर्मेंटेड पोटेटो as i had told you that i had taken mashed potato that's why it is looking like this then this is fermented rice flour this is fermented gram flour next page of conclusion what i had concluded from this experiment so i concluded that rice flour takes maximum time to fermentation and wheat flour takes the minimum time for fermentation lastly i had written bibliography in the same page you can write it on different page also so This is chemistry NCERT Wikipedia chemistry manual website www. icbc. com helped me a lot to make this project. Thank you for watching my video and if you liked my video, please like and subscribe my channel and don't forget to click the bell button. Thank you.